What's going on? It's your favorite little cousin, Johnny, and I'm about to teach you how to cut uh, one guard with the grain, or in other words, waves. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some water, a spray bottle, and I'm gonna spray my hair. And basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detangle my hair, take all the naps out. I haven't brushed my hair or anything in a while. I also recommend you washing your hair before you cut your hair. Make sure I get everything. Now with your equipment, um, you can see the video. One of my first videos is the equipment you need that's something I will watch before you start cutting your hair. So next, I'm gonna get the brush and I have a hard side and a soft side. I'm gonna use the soft side. I'm gonna brush with the grain of my hair cause that's the way I'm cutting. With the soft side, not the hard side. It's a pretty simple haircut. Next, I'm gonna get my oil and I'm gonna oil my trimmers and my clippers. So, get the T right there, put it in the middle, put it at the end, and put it in the sides here. Okay. On it, blow it around for a bit, wave it around. That should be good. Next, get my clippers. Also, if you have uh, cordless clippers or anything, make sure you charge them before. Definitely, the first time you're cutting your hair, give yourself a lot of time. First time I come on here, it took me about five hours. So, run the clippers, bring it up and down. And if you didn't see, I put the clippers, put the oil on the teeth here in the middle, at the end, the sides and the sides. Everything I have that you see will be in the link in the description. Also, you can check out my blog, myownbarber.com, my website, and I mostly have everything there, uh, like a reading portion instead of watching the video, just in case you're on the run. So first, you gotta understand with the grain and against the grain. So let's say if I wanted to do a low Caesar, I would go against the grain of my hair. And depending how low I want it, I can go, this is close and this is gonna cut closer to my hair. So it's gonna cut a lot more than it being open. So this is two things you want to know before you start cutting your hair, close and open. I like my hair when I'm, I cut my waves, I like it closed, number one guard with the grain. So I'm gonna start. Also, I recommend you start, you just start cutting your own hair. Don't do it where the first couple of times you have to run out somewhere. Don't do that to yourself. You can end up rushing and you can jack yourself up. So make sure you give yourself that time. Go ahead and cut that hair. I 
right here I'm using my angles. I mean my mirrors to see my angles, take my glasses off. And since I've been cutting my own hair for almost about a month, I mean a year now, I kind of know the shape of my head, so I know kind of where everything is. And if I hadn't said it before, you're going with the grain, with your hair cut. I'm using the clothes with the one guard. Make sure I get my ear. Come with this on this. And before, what well, I would recommend before you even start cutting your hair, I'll get your clippers and I'll kind of, whatever mirror you're working with, kind of get you to know your angles. So, what I mean by that is, when you cut, instead of cutting someone else's hair, when you're cutting your own, it gets, you gotta get used to your wrist placement and where your hand is gonna be at. So I kinda just practice in the mirror before you even cut your hair, cause that's how you mess yourself up, not knowing what you're doing and what angle you're gonna go to. Now I'm moving on to my crown area, but before I do that, I'ma look around just to make sure I cut everything. I have no places that I didn't cut. I miss this area, commonly miss this area a lot. So I make sure I get around the ears cause that's usually where my glasses are. Y'all see those ears? I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Run through everything again. Another thing is, pressure on your hand, the more pressure you put on your hand, the farther down you're gonna cut. So I, I recommend you go a little light-handed. I remember first time I cut my hair, I was heavy-handed. But the more you use, get used to it, the better it becomes. Everything start looking even. So now, I'm gonna get to my crown. And with the crown, you cut it in. in the spiral of the crown. So we're going this way. You cut that way. You, go in, you see it go down. You go down with it. Now your crown is the most sensitive spot. But sometimes people do, when they're cutting the ground, they either go guard higher, so put on a one and a half, or they go open first, or they just keep it out open. Cause I show it in a picture. If you don't cut the crown correctly, you ain't gonna end up bothering yourself because that's one of the thinnest spots on your head. That. So once I'm finished with that, I'm actually gonna move on to the shape up or the shape up. The 
shape up. I'm gonna spray my hair on it. And I'm gonna brush the hairs down. And now I'll get a better line up. Now, some people got a really natural straight hairline. I actually don't. But that really doesn't phase me because I still cut it my natural hairline way. I'm not going to push my hair back just for it to look aesthetically pleasing. It's not that deep to me. I'd rather have a crooked hairline than the one that's pushed back. I ain't with that. Get my clipper, I'm gonna need my trimmer. So what I do when I cut my hairline, I start from the middle and I bring it down. And each time I inch up, I'll go to the side. And then for my corners, and I bring away. The more can the more mirrors the better because So now I'm moving on to the corners here. And this is actually really hard with the glasses. I'm actually gonna fade this part out, but I'm gonna show that for a different video. Do the corner there, and I'm gonna do this corner here. So for the last part, when you cut your back, I'm actually gonna fade out my back too. I'm gonna do that for another video, but fade out your back. I mean, not to fade out your back, but to do your back as a straight even. Just follow the line along here, and I'll brush this out. And I actually just follow this line back here to do my back. I'm gonna do my sideburns and then that'll be it for the video. What I actually do with my sideburns is I do the ice pick sideburn. So instead of keeping the whole thing, I kind of cut it short like this.
and I'll cut with the grain of my face. Instead of going against the grain, I'll go with the grain because it prevents bumps for me. And actually what I do is I wash my face and I moisturize it before I cut my hair so it reduces the bumps that I get. Other YouTubers I watch to cut my own hair was Wave Man Mike. He helped me a lot when I started cutting my own hair. Um, there's also this other guy. He helped me build this, my mirror set. I forgot his name. But this look, and this is a 27 minute video that helped me out too. All right, just look up how to cut your own hair, black man, and then you're going to see mostly all the people I use to help me. For reference, too, because watching multiple videos is what helped me become better, seeing people's different perspectives. And um, Rashad Wild, or 360 Way Process, I like his videos, too. Shaping off the mustache. And what I actually do, I get some scissors and I cut off the whiskers that I got on my mustache. This is what I'm talking about with angles. It's not my best haircut. See some of my best haircuts go on mywombarber.com. And as for actually my first haircut was on too. My first haircut picture is on there too, but yeah. All right, and then what I would do if I wasn't fading, actually I'll just show y'all. Cause it's about to get cut anyway. Damn, I can't see. I ain't gonna play with that. But what I do, I just round this off here, going to, with the ice pick sideburns. I, I can cut a little bit of this off. And it'll look a little something like that. Or something in that motion. Neck duster. All right, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, tell me in the comment section. If anything I need to do better, please tell me I'm trying to get my videos better. Um, also, email me your, your pictures or send it to me on Instagram with your first haircut or the haircuts y'all be doing. And tell me how I can get better. Peace. I'm not a barber, so my haircuts aren't perfect. But with each practice, I get better and better. My side fades are alright, but my back fade isn't. It just looks normal. Um, next video I'll do is strictly on fades. So thank you for watching and have a good one.